the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you IPOB warns Ohane Zendigbo over comments on restructuring. Welcome to Reality Latest Gist, your home of news and politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If this is your first time of watching my video, please do us a favor to subscribe and also the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our videos because I'm sure you don't want to miss out on the trending latest news happening on social media. Also send in your comments and keep the conversation lively on our comment section. To all our returning subscribers, thank you so much for staying tuned. To all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay tuned. The indigenous people of Biafra has won members of Ohane Zendibu demanding restructuring to bury the idea insisting that what the Indigenous people wants is a re referendum. The pro-Biafra group said that the era of anyone with a red cap claiming to be an elder speaking for Indibo is over and gone for good adding that it is not going back on referendum to democratically decide whether to remain or exist from Nigeria. They stated this in a statement made available by its media and publicity secretary Emmanuel Powerful on Saturday. Powerful said the attention of the global movement and family of IBOP has been drawn to one Abuja-based Ohane Zendibu chieftaincy, Augustine Amechi, claiming that Ohane Zendibu wants restructuring, not referendum. The few political jobbers in Ohane Zendibu demanding restructuring should perish the idea. Biafras want a referendum. IBOP member and supporters worldwide represent over 90% of Biafras. We have made it clean to the federal government and the international community that Biafra wants a referendum to democratically decide to either remain in Nigeria or exit Nigeria. This era of anyone with a red cap claiming to be an elder speaking for Ndibo is over and gone for good. So Abuja politicians must take note and advise themselves properly. The treacherous activities of some Igbo political jobbers surrounded by their auctions have endanger the sad east people and the economy underpinning of our culture the indigenous people of biafra has said that it's now ready to negotiate and dialogue with the federal government a peaceful exit of biafra from nigeria through a united nation supervised referendum the outlaw pro biafra group said the peaceful agitation for biafra independence started in 2012 without any violence or criminality, adding that the federal government had continued to attack its member. IPOB stated this in a press statement issued by its spokesman, Ima Powerful, on Saturday. Powerful said IPOB had lost over 5,000 members and properties worth over $1 billion as a result of the extreme use of force from the Nigeria security forces. The statement read, we, the global family and movement of IPOP, wish to retaliate once again that IPOP remains peaceful and open to negotiation and dialogue on a peaceful exit of Biafra from Nigeria through a unsupervised referendum. They have said their demands and they are not going back on their demands for unsupervised referendum in Nigeria for the determination of Biafra independence. Once the Nigeria government hits their democratic demand for a Biafra referendum, Nigeria's major problem will be solved. They said they will not want Ohaneze again. If Augustine Amechi is speaking for himself, Ohaneze and the leadership must make that clear publicly. Otherwise, they shall take Augustine ranting as the position of Ohanes and Dibu. And this will only mean that the Ohanes has been mobilized by the enemies of our people to sabotage the present momentum and progress being made to hold the Zoological Republic of Nigeria accountable for the violent violations of Biafra fundamental human rights. Curse the crime against humanity and genocide it is perpetrating against the indigenous people of Biafra. All what they want is referendum, not restructuring. They want Biafra, not Nigeria, because they said that they have lost many people and they have lost too many souls, so they are pained by the innocents who are still languishing in illegal detention all over Nigeria. And also, they have been enraged by the betrayal of those they call social political leaders. They are saying now that only total restoration of Biafra will suffix. 
anything else is merely waste of time so guys let me know your thoughts your opinion contributions are in the comment section we'd we'll love to hear from you if you haven't subscribed to our youtube page yet please do us a favor to subscribe and don't forget to like and turn notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video because i'm sure you don't want to miss out on the trend and latest news happening on social media once again thank you all so much for staying tuned with us we really do appreciate on this note we have come to the end of today's segment till i come your way next bye